Hey guys, Retom here, and today we're playing Morrowind. Now, I've actually been wanting to play Morrowind for quite a long while. It's one of the Elder Scrolls games that I haven't actually ever played before. Well, it's not entirely true, I've played it for like an hour or a few hours every now and again, but I could never really get quite into it, because it's quite a different game than Oblivion as, and also Skyrim, of course. There's quite a lot of interesting mechanics in it, and I'm hoping that with this series, that I can actually finally fully get into it. So I'm not going to explain too much. If you go to the options menu, you can see that for this game, I had the difficulty set on normal. Yeah, the difficulty in Morrowind is kind of done as it is in um, as it is in Oblivion, which is kind of like terrible to be honest. Because if I were to put this all the way up, literally just make every enemy attack six times as hard. And it wouldn't really do anything aside from like flow the game down and make it so I have to use like exploits and other types of stuff just to get through the early game. Which is really something I want to do. So for now I'll just leave it at normal difficulty. So let's immediately get into it. taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Alright, and our character is going to be called Oscar. And the reason for that will become clear in time. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Right, so let's just walk up here. Also, just to point this out, I'm uh, playing this on a updated version of Morrowind. It's called OpenMW, I think. Which is basically just like an um, entirely really big mod effort to make um, Morrowind just like fit for modern resolutions, update the graphics a bit, and also fix some bugs that the game has. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. It may look a bit better than you uh, remember it if you've ever played this, so just keep that in mind. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Alright. finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Okay, so we get to choose our race now. Now, his name was Oscar. Oscar the Orc. Character creation options back in this time weren't all that great, so... <laughs> also, I haven't really looked up, like, how to make a proper build, so there's an entirely a really good chance that I might, like, screw this up completely. But I have kind of an idea of how I'm going to do this. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Sure thing. Head on in. Hello. Uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this and the choice is yours. Alright, so I could answer his questions, where you basically go to a questionnaire, give him the info, or fill out the forms yourself. You know what, I'll fill them out myself. Now, my favorite attributes are going to be speed, because it determines how fast you can move, and also is very important for a few skills that I want to put my uh, points into, that I want to put my skills into. As well as agility, and with agility I'll go with... Hmm. Endurance is pretty good. But I'll go with intelligence for now. 
Speci specialization. Well, I'm not really going to use any of these. Let's go with magic. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, so as you can see, Morrowind has like quite a few skills that you didn't have back in the old days. Back in uh, Skyrim and Oblivion nowadays. And the thing with major skills, as far as I remember, is uh, if it's kind of like the system in Oblivion, and if you get 10 points in total from like every single one of these skills, then you get to level up. I'm not entirely sure what minor skills are for. I think they, these just like increase your... Uh, you just get a minor increase when you start the game. So for my major skills, I'm going to pick hand-to-hand, -hand, of course. Martial Art of Unarmed Combat. At first you'll only damage the fatigue, but then uh, when they're unconscious you'll actually start doing health damage. Next up, something they don't really have nowadays anymore, which is too bad, Unarmored. Unarmored skill lets one avoid or reduce injury during combat while not wearing any armor by evading, deflecting, or absorbing blows. So we'll be picking that one. Also, fun fact, one of the main reasons I picked up this updated version and installed it instead of like the completely normal one that you got on release is because there's a bug where an arm doesn't do anything unless you have like one piece of armor on, which kind of, you know, negates the point of choosing unarmored. But luckily it's fixed now with the, uh, with the mod, so unarmored. Next up, uh, from now on we'll just do, let's see, destruction, definitely. Restoration will probably also be important. Hmm. I'm gonna go with alteration simply because it's fun, because you have jumping and levitating and stuff like that. Now for my minor skills, we'll go with enchant and illusion and conjuration, mysticism. Is there anything else that I want to put points into? Uh, I'll go with sneak. Sure. I think I've got like literally every single magic. Or alchemy. Like, am I ever going through you really use alchemy? It's like one of those things that I always forget to use. That's good enough, though. Now, the name of this class is going to be a madman. Because I think this class system is not going to work at all. But we'll see how it goes. Now, as for the sign, I'm going to do the steed. Simply because it uh, fortifies speed by 25 points. Which is a good thing to have. So, there we go. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Right, so, Oscar the Orc, the Madman class, sign of the Steed. His major skills, hand-to-hand, -hand, 30, unarmored, destruction, restoration, alteration. Minor skills, and miscellaneous skills here. Alright. Actually, it starts off with speed 65, which is not bad. I dare, I'm happy with that. Let's go. Okay. Now, here's the papers for release by Emperor Ural Septum the Seventh's decree to the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morrowind. There we go. So I get to... Okay, now something I'm really gonna try, because I see this in every speedrun, right? So in the start of the game, if you, like, do something criminal right here, those guys are gonna be like, I'll forgive you this time, but don't do it again. So what I'm gonna do is this limewire platter. It's, like, worth a lot. So I'm just gonna grab this. And then they get mad. So I'm just gonna throw it away. Throw it away. Then this guy's like, what are you doing? We'll let your actions go for now. We want you released. Stuff like that will get you arrested again. Alright, my bad, my bad. I won't do it again. Now I just get to pick it up again. And these guys are totally cool with it. I feel that on like literally every single speedrun of this game, so I thought it'd be fun to do. Okay, so combat. Alright, so you can equip stuff like that. Okay, that makes sense. Right, next up, we just go through here. Now we're outside. And now I also have a map right here. So yeah, we start off at the very bottom of the map, as you can see, in Sedanin. Next up, just go over to this barrel. And as you can see here, engraved Ring of Healing, restore health 1 to 5 points for 1 second on self. I'm just gonna grab this. I'm not really gonna use it yet, but I just have like other ideas for it. And you also have your own little magic tab, where you can like ready up your spells, if you have any. As you can see, I have quite a few spells here. Because I uh, have them, like, because I have, like, those major skills, I start off with quite a few spells already, which is good. 
And can I favorite anything, or is it just like... Eh, it's whatever. So yeah, you have like two different tabs. Like I can ready my fists like this, or I can also ready my spell like this. And you can see that he holds his hands a bit differently. That's what makes all the difference, apparently. And let's talk to the captain, apparently. Your Hello. Papers, please. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Where did your arrival and reach me yesterday? I'm Celis Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Alright, so let's talk a bit more about Morrowind. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I know why you're here, why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from your emperor, from the emperor himself. I don't need to know anything more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man. Before you go, I have instructions on your duties, instructions from the emperor, so pay careful attention. Gotcha. This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cosadas in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius Cosadas. So I kind of got to remember this, because this game does not have map markers or anything like that, so you really have to like follow the road, find the right, right establishment, ask the right people, etc, etc, etc. They'll know where to find him, serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name, so just a bit of gold, and a package for the guy and directions to him. Okay. So don't try persuasion, because I'm obviously not good at it. What about Belmora? Balmora is north of Sedanine, the road passes Pelagiad village and forth Pelagiad. Crosses a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmouth, then turns west across the Odai River into Balmora. Okay, wow, I'm sure I'll remember that. Uh, Southwall Corner Club. For more detailed directions, talk to, uh, to Elon the Scout at Ariel's Trade House here in Sedanine. I might do that. But take my advice, you're new here, take the Silt Strider to Balmora. Fast, cheap, safe. Cross the bridge and head east, can't miss it. Yeah, right, so there are a few fast travel opportunities, but you can't just go to the map and click on a place to fast travel immediately. That's not really a thing. So. Press J to use your journal and review what you've been told. You should probably check out Ariel's trade house up on the left. You're on your own now. Good luck. I like how even the tutorial just says you're on your own now. <laughs> and first up, we probably want to talk to this guy. Fargoth. Are you, on a boat? Are you the one that the boat dropped off? I want to see a boat arrive at the time of day. Hope the Imperial 3 is okay. I swear they took my ring. Ring, you say? I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Uh, yes, I found it. Here. You found it. Amazing. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now I'm his best friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Ariel, who runs the trade house there. Go see him and he'll be happy to see you. Just because of doing that, I just earned a discount from the local trade house, which is very good. So they're telling me to take pretty much a Silt Strider. But you know what? I think I'll like to go out in the wilderness myself and just go and explore. But we'll do that soon enough, though. For now, uh, let's go to a real trade house. Welcome. Care to talk? All right. So let's see. Here, so here's Ariel. Uh, spell section of spells. No credit. You want a little advice? That's free. That's that's all that's free. Would you like to hear more about the popular potions or our most popular scrolls? First up, let me just sell this platter. There we go. Obviously, seeing I was not very good at bartering, it's only 366 instead of like the six, 650 or something. It, that's actually worth, but you know what? That's cool. Now for spells. What does he have? Let's see. Absorb fatigue. Which is not too bad. Ooh, fireball. This actually isn't all that bad. I'll just buy that. And what is this? Resist magic? Could be handy. Hmm. Fortify attribute luck. Nah. Father's hand. Shit, what does sanctuary do again? Doesn't matter. Uh, resist magic. I'll take that one too. And spark too. Sure. Just have like a, I do enjoy a good conversation. nice amount of different... Uh, spells at my disposal right now, which is good. So, if you were to head out here... Actually, before I go, I do know one other thing that I do want to pick up in this town before I head out. I'll need to make my way to the lighthouse. So, here at the lighthouse, if we just walk all the way up... Should be a book here. Here we are. The Wraith's Wedding Dowry. There we go. And my unarmored skill is increased by one, which is what I wanted. If I sneak, can I just take this with me? Because that's another 300 that I didn't even see before. And you didn't notice, did you? Here we are. 
Another one for you. There we go. Are you? Just a little bit more gold. Might as well. Now, we need to head on over to Balmora. So, let's see. Ebonheart, Balmora. Ah, okay, there it is already. So, yeah, just go this way. I'm just gonna actually wait one hour here if I can, just to get my uh, fatigue up. There we go. And I could go with that one, but I don't want to pay gold. And I think it would be actually really kind of nice to walk around and see what I can find. Such as right outside here, apparently. Our very first dungeon. Adamasartus. Alright, so here we go. First enemy. Now, the thing about this combat system in Morrowind is it's entirely based on dice rolls. Like, just because I'm punching at her doesn't mean that I'm actually hitting her. I only hit her when she actually does that animation right there, when she gets staggered. That's when you know that I'm hitting. For rest, it's entirely based on dice rolls. So this is like a very old school approach to combat in Morrowind. And unlike in Oblivion and Skyrim, just because you're swinging at someone doesn't mean that you're hitting them. And that's why like the fights, especially in the early game, are gonna take quite a while. Because it's literally just me like missing again and again and for like every five hits, maybe getting one hit in as you saw right there. And, oh, I forgot to mention, by the way, bottom left, the red part is my health, the yellow part above that is her health. You can see that I'm currently not damaging her health, but I'm damaging her fatigue, and as soon as she goes down, you'll see her hand, you'll see that yellow bar also go down. Also, my hand-to-hand -hand just increased. So yeah, the early game, because you and your enemy keep constantly missing, it's just gonna be a lot of this. But as the game moves on and your skills increase, you should also... Your, the hit chance also increases, so combat generally becomes a bit faster. But yeah, because this entire combat system is like kind of based on dice rolls, it's one of the main reasons why I wasn't really interested in upping the difficulty all that much either. Because, oh, an armored skill also went up. I'm actually kind of low on health though, so what I'm gonna do is just do this real quick. There we go, health bar is full again. But yes, because the in entire combat system is based on dice rolls. I didn't really want to up the difficulty yet, because all it does is just, like, make my chances of winning a fight smaller. And especially in the beginning, like, if I were to, if I wanted to do that, it'd just mean that I'd have to, um, exploit the game's mechanics, which isn't really something that I'm interested in doing all that much. I just want to keep it, like, as much as the developers intended. At least in the beginning. Later on, when I do create my own spells, like, Morrowind is famously breakable by just about everyone. And I do want to actually, like, uh, when we get to, like, making our own spells and stuff, I'm gonna do, like, a few things that the developers probably didn't intend it. But nothing to, like, completely break the game. I hope. As you can see, now that her... When her fatigue could drop to zero, she actually dropped to the ground, just like that. And then you can see that I'm actually damaging her health. But yeah, this, keep in mind, this is only like one enemy. Like, for example, you wouldn't be longer than maybe 20 seconds fighting one enemy in Oblivion or in Skyrim in the beginning. Meanwhile, I think it's been like a full-on, like maybe three, four minutes at this point where I'm just like constantly punching this one person. Which is actually kind of an interesting approach. And my hand-to-hand -hand scroll is actually increasing quite a bit. So, you know, that's good. I almost want to keep her alive just to like keep my hand-to-hand -hand scroll increasing. There we go. Good, so she's taken care of. Oh, she was a named character as well, that's interesting. So let's see what she had. Uh, common pants, I'll be taking that, just to get some new pants, sure. Common shirt, and it's not really worth anything. I'll take this. I'll also take the slave key, but you know what, you can keep the rest, because it's not really worth all that much either. Let me just heal myself up before I move on. Alright, maybe I can actually sneak a bit. That'd be nice. Okay, so let's see. I see one person down there. Let's actually see what's up here first. Used. Okay, yeah, I got the key from her. Let's actually talk to these guys real quick. Bandargo. Do you have the key to these bracers? Will you let me go free? Go free? You have the key. Will you let me go free? Yeah, sure thing. Yes, Bardargo is free. You're a good friend to Bardargo. Oh, you're welcome. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. 
So seeing as this is like earlier in like Elder Scrolls history, at this point Argonians and Khajiit are like mainly slaves as far as I remember, because slavery was still very much a thing during these times. I don't know much about Elder Scrolls lore by the way, so forgive me if like I'm wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that's like the whole thing in this. Anyway, uh, let me just free these slaves here. Perfect. I do like how I'm like five minutes off the boat and I'm already like killing people and freeing slaves and shit. <laughs> now next up... Can I use these guys to help me out in fighting that guy down there? Okay. Right, he's running up to me. Now what if I were to just... Lead him... Over here. Are these guys gonna help me? This is an honor. No, doesn't seem that. Oh my god, he did so much damage. Okay, never mind. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna find this guy because, like, with one spell, he literally like took out three quarters of my health. So he's probably a bit too strong for me. What I'm gonna do? Just drink the. Oh, I didn't mean to drink it. I just meant to take it. But you know what? That's fine. Take that. Uh, a Kwama egg. Yeah, sure, I'll take that too. Oi, cure disease, more gold. Moon sugar, which is used to make skooma. Is this key? Can I take the key? Oh, okay. Time to run. Time, time to run, time to run, time to run. Let's just get out of here. Because you can see that I was nearly killed there by one spell because of that guy. So let me just get out of here. Yeah, very first dungeon of the game. Maybe not the best idea. Whew, okay, let's just rest here until we're healed. Perfect. Wait for eight hours, in fact. Now let's actually make our way to Balmora, I suppose. Might as well just pick some flowers every now and again. How much gold do I have, anyway? 458. You know what? That's not bad to start off with. So, Vivac, Balmora, Balmora, there we go. Yep. Uh oh, combat music? Oh, hello. Oh, it's just a rat. Okay, th this rat is kind of kicking my ass, but I'm sure it's fine. Hey, you know, at least increases my unarmored, I guess. Hand to hand as well. Now that I think about it, by the way, what I should also do, of course, is. Did I hit that or did I completely miss? Oh no, it hit. Good. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, magic is pretty good. Don't forget to use that. Now, how much did my destruction go up by that? Barely anything at all. Damn, okay. I'll remember that, though. Also, with jumping every now and again, my acrobatics can also go up, which is good. Oh, willow flower. I'll take that. That. Oh, wait, what's, what city is that over there? Okay, that's Pelagiat. Vivek, Belmora, Kaldare. Okay, Belmora. So it's something that's actually really cool. Na no map markers, of course, means that I, you just have to follow the road. And uh, try to find out what Balmora is like that. Which is an interesting mechanic. Like, I understand why nowadays you have, like, the compass and everything. Because it just, you know, streamlines the game and makes it a bit faster. But it's still a really cool way of doing it. I'm just going to rest here for one more hour. Just to get all my stats back up. And let's go into Ulumusa. See if there's anything good in here. Hello there. Okay. Alright, she did quite a bit of damage there. But that doesn't have to mean anything. Okay. I may have bitten off a bit more than I can chew here. So I guess it's time for some fireball spells. Okay, that hardly did any damage at all to her, which is worrying. <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 wait. Not fireball, fire bite. Sure. Did that do anything? And I'm just gonna make my way out of here quickly now. Before she kicks my ass. Okay, let's just rest until healed. We good. <laughs> let's not go back in there again. <laughs> I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Oh hello. Marie Armine. Begging your pardon. Have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. A bandit? 
Yeah, so I was just walking around here, minding my own business. Suddenly a bandit jumped up at me f from behind. He was a dark elf, a strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me anyway, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. So, the jewels? What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny, I simply must see him again. That's cute. I like that. Oh, his name? Um, Nellos Olmar. A name that will still in my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him. I cannot live without knowing if you could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return. But could you not help me for the sake of love? I have no time for your foolish games. I will try and find this man, if only for love's sake. You know what? Sure, why not? Okay, he mentioned something about having to head north, so I imagine he might be found in Pelagiat. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me as a token of my love. I'm certain he will want to find me again. Okay, it is actually kind of cute that she has like one glove on and the other one she obviously gave to you. But you know what? I just passed Pelagiat. And honestly, like, the main quest can wait. Sure, let's go. Oh, hello. What's that? I don't know what you are, but you look like good hand-to-hand -hand training. Hey, hand-to-hand skill increased again. And my unarmored skill did as well. And you should rest and meditate on what you've learned, meaning that I can finally level up when I find a bed. Okay, hand-to-hand -hand increased again to 37. Good. Oh my god, just... Just die. I like how, like, it takes ages, but just with one spell you can see how much damage I already did. Uh, I actually need to heal myself up because this thing is kicking my ass. So let's try again. Then again, this is really helping me level up my skills, though, so, you know, that's good. Oh my god, I th I'm starting to think this this thing might take more punishment than that woman did. Well, it increased, increased my hand-to-hand -to, -hand to 40, that's good. That's right, I don't care how long this takes, this thing will die. Oh my god, finally, it's in its fatigued animation. Yes. Oh my god, finally. Yeah, I'll take this cuddle. I don't I don't know what a cuddle is, but I'll take it. I'm just gonna rest until healed. Uh oh, rest has been interrupted by who? Oh, a rat. That's fine. Yeah, resting out in the open like this can be very dangerous apparently in Merwind. But hey, you know, hand to hand is almost at 50 already, which is good. Unarmored also went up again. Good, good. Hand to hand. Also, another reason why I didn't want to put this on the highest difficulty immediately. Because on the highest difficulty, I wouldn't have a chance against like basic critters like this. Like, even they would kick my ass. So it just didn't sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fuck this rat. I can't be bothered anymore. There we go. Two spells. That's all it took. Done. Alright, let's it to level 2. So, speed plus 5, I'll take that, and strength plus 2. Oh, and also something else I have to put a point in. Um, so, you have ascended to level 2. You realize that all your life you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly, facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. So yeah, the thing is, the more uh, sk skills that you use that have like, uh, that are like with a certain attribute, the more they can increase every single, el the more you can increase them during a level up. So as you can see, I, I used unarmed quite a bit, which is the, which main attribute is speed. That's why I can increase speed by 5 points, which is the max amount. And also strength, I'm guessing this is because of uh, unarmored, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, that's good, sure. Let's do that. And can I actually do that again, or... Let's see. Yeah, level 3, that's what I thought. Uh, might as well just do this again. I'm probably like really butchering my character, but you know what, that's fine. Level 3. You realize that you're catching on to the secret of success. It's just a matter of concentration. One more, or is that enough? Uh-oh. What the hell? Where are you? That's okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you're gonna get your ass kicked. Yeah, I think the fact that, uh... My hand-to-hand -hand has increased is paying its dividends here. I'm hitting this guy quite a bit now. There we go, he's already laying down. Holy shit. I don't even need spells for this guy. I can just kick his ass like this. Hand to hand increased again. Okay, almost. There we go. 
I like how, like, a rat and, like, a worm or whatever gave me more trouble than whatever this guy, an assassin. Huh. Oh, Dark Brotherhood curse. Holy shit, this is all Dark Brotherhood gear. And it's actually worth quite a bit. Alright, so... Yeah, I'll be taking all of this. Not to wear, obviously, because I don't wear that shit, but still. It's not too bad. My speed is actually up to 71 already, which is amazing. Now, uh, where were the hell were we headed off to again? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, well, like it. Yeah, Argonians look quite a bit different in this installment than they did in the later ones, as you can see right here. Let's see, at first it seemed to fuss about the Nerevarine prophecy was just a superstition. Then I learned that Dummer have been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries, the Incarnate they call it. Every few years an Ashlander appears and the tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the temple goes out, hunts him down and reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? Alright, interesting. So I'm jumping every now and again just to get like my acrobatics and athletics up. Is there like maybe a local inn or whatever where I can ask around? Or maybe this guard has more information? Because I was looking for... What was the guy again? Let's see. I've agreed to find the bandit, Lenos Onmar, and deliver the glove of this young Breton woman. She believes to be his in Pelagiat, so perhaps I can find more about him in there. I fear for her heart, for these outlaws care nothing for others, only for the booty they can obtain. Alright. And let's see, an attempt was made on my life as a try to rest. I do not who know who wishes me dead, but the attack should probably be reported to a guard. Good idea, actually. Yeah, let's report that attack. Go ahead, Stu. You say you've been attacked by assassins. From your description, it sounds like the work of the Dark Brotherhood. I'm not sure who you angered, but stay away from me. I suppose this should be officially reported, though. Speak to Apol Apollos Matthias and Ember Hart about this matter. Alright, I will later. That's another lead that we can uh, find more information about. What is this Dark Brotherhood, though? Scum, all of them. If they're after you, friend, you better find yourself some help. Or write a will. Or both. Right. Nelos Onmar. Nelos Onmar. I've seen him around here. Quiet man. Keeps to himself. Not too sure what he does, actually. Other folks might know more than I do. Though, might check in the tavern. They get all sorts of folks there. Alright. So, the local tavern. Let's see where that is. This is the armor. I can actually sell the Dark Brotherhood armor here, I guess. How much... Can I sell all this for? For 721. Although, he only has 700 though, so there's no point in going on more than that. I cannot afford this transaction. Let's just go with Max. There we go. Alright, I actually made some good money. There's a trader here. Maybe I can... What maybe, I can maybe I can get some more spells here. Let's see, does he have anything? Nah, just a few potions. Ooh, expensive pants, you say. Expensive pants and... Expensive shirt. Sure, I mean, like, it doesn't... And a common belt. Yeah, sure, let's get a belt too, might as well. And some expensive shoes, hell yes. Okay, the shirt's a bit ridiculous, I think we need a new shirt. And also a left glove. He doesn't sell the right one though, just the left one. You know what, I'm fine with that, sure. Alright, we're actually looking quite dapper now. Now, let's see. Uh, you can have this, and this, and this. 245. Sure, dude, all yours. So, oh, here we are, the local tavern. Let's see. Yakum... What do you want? Harshashi... She. Wow. Interesting. But no, I'm not here for you. I'm for... I really don't have time for this, so make here we are. Uh, Nellos Onmar. What's your question, stranger? Can I help you find your way around Pelagriat? Mari's glove. You have what? How hard? She was a lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She is beautiful, though, and seems sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. Tell her you have a note from El Nellos. I must see her again. I won't forget this friend. That's actually kind of cute. I wonder what happens. Can I actually read what's in this note from her? Let's see. Mari, truly I was enchanted with you from the moment I saw you. I beg your forgiveness for my past transgressions. While I cannot imagine what a woman of your beauty and breeding would see in a rogue such as me, I thank the gods that you have sent for me. I will come to you as soon as I can. Until then, Nevos. If, you if you're gonna come to her as soon as you can, why do you need me to send this message anyway? Why not just go to her yourself? Like, is that just, you know, whatever. If I check back on my journal where I found her, it was on the road northwest of Pelagiat. Yeah, I can make my way back there. Shouldn't be too hard. What if I came from about this angle? So if I just walk over here again, I should find her soon enough. Oh, there's another creature right over there. Oh god, what is that? Wait, what? I can't move? What's going on? 
Hold up, what? Oh, I'm paralyzed. Okay, now I'm no longer paralyzed. Good. Let's take this thing out. Okay, is this just like me seeing things or am I punching faster than I used to? And hand increases again. Maybe we'll actually get it to 50 this time. That'd be nice. Okay, this thing is finally down. And with three punches, it's completely taken out. Good. Alright. And, and there's Mari. A note from Nelos. He gave you a letter to me. Wonderful. Thank you. I knew that he cared. You know, you didn't have to do all of this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend Amuset Brux in Talrun. She's a wonderful person. I think the two of you will get along famously. That's good. So I guess that's the end of that quest then. Uh, let's see, she seemed overwhelmed and full of gratitude for my... Okay, yeah, so she tells me to go visit someone in like a city I haven't even heard of before. But sure, we'll do that later. Belmora is still quite a few ways off, so I gotta keep moving. And meanwhile, I can just pick the flowers as well every now and again. Okay, another dungeon here. Seeing as I'm passing by, might as well, right? Adonumuran. Okay, this looks a bit different. Okay, this thing is trapped. What did it just do with me? Heavy burden touch, 29 points. Oh god, what is that? Uh, whatever it is, I'm sure I can take it on. Okay, it seems to be doing surprisingly little damage, actually. And it's increasing my skills quite a bit. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if it's just like... You know, me seeing things, but it does feel like when I move back, he can't hit me sometimes when he sh obviously should have. But this might just me be me, like, being wrong, though. Okay, I want to get my hand to hand to 50. And when I do that, I guess I'll just use fire magic on this guy, because it doesn't seem like I'll be winning from him with just my fists. Well, you know what? I think it's about time. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, I'm actually doing good damage there. But I feel confident enough at this point, to, uh, instead of using a fireball spell or anything. Oh crap, you failed casting a spell. I, I forgot that's a thing that can happen. Oh no. Okay, she's stuck behind that door, because if she is, that works for me. That just means I can take this guy out first. There we go. I'll take the meat. What are you anyway? A Nyx Hound. Huh, interesting name. Hand hands already at level 50, which is kind of hilarious. Oh crap, I should not have touched that old gate. Shock damage. Ah, uh, six points. Not too much. Alright, come here and get your ass kicked then. There's one thing I've become good at in, these, in this past episode. It's beating elves. And I'm already ready to level up again, apparently, which is awesome. Come on. Hand hand increased again to 52 already. There we go. Torisia Tondo. I'm starting to think that every like bandit or ever has a name here. Uh, value 30. You know what? That's good enough. Anything in this crate? An expensive ring. Yeah, I'll put that on. Alright, can I sleep? No. Enemies nearby. Gotcha. Let's just make our way out of here then. So I do want to level up if I can. So let's just rest until I'm healed. Level 4. Speed goes up again. Does the strength. Um, I'm actually kind of happy with the amount of willpower I have now, so that I can stay for now. But endurance is kind of important for health, so. Also, agility is also important because that affects the ability to dodge and also the ability to hit targets in melee. Uh, there's two more of them. That's not good. However, this might not be a huge problem if I can just separate the two, maybe. Okay, so what if I'm to open this, right? And now, and now close it. Close it. Come on, close it, maybe? Honestly, you know what, screw it. I think magic is a good opportunity here. If I were to just use... Hmm... So I can't close this door, really, so... Yeah. You can just see that I did a massive amount of damage, and now he's down. 
And he's down as well. There we go. Yeah, I should use magic more often. Because the problem is, hand -to hand's obviously going up because I keep punching, because I have to punch a lot to actually kill a person. But with hand, -to -hand with destruction, for example, I killed like at least four people now with it. And I'm still not even up one level because, you know, if you use like one good spell that cost, that drains all your mana, that's still only one spell used. <laughs> so you're obviously using it a lot less than, for example, when you need to punch th someone a thousand times. Ooh, this guy actually wants, wants to fight me hand to hand. Which might be a bit of a problem, because now my fatigue is gonna drain too. And if he manages to completely drain it, then that means that I'm just gonna keep getting staggered and falling onto the ground like the other ones did. Okay, luckily that person over there is stuck on a bench. So if I can take this guy out in the meanwhile, that'd be really great. Oh no. You will die. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have an idea. I'm assuming they can't open doors, so if I were to just... There we go. Oh no. They can't actually open doors. This might be a problem. Wait, no, it doesn't have to be. If I just run over here... Just run, just run, just run. Okay, yes, they can open this door. Oh no. Wait, this guy's already on the ground. Okay, I don't know why they're like actually fleeing right now, but that works for me. This guy's fatigue is already completely drained. Now I can just pummel him. Yeah. Come on, just lay on the ground. There you go. I'm actually more worried about these guys, this guy with his fists and that woman. Because they don't do much damage, but like I said, this guy can pretty much stagger me if he gets me to zero fatigue. So it's very important that he dies first. Alright, that's one taken care of. Now it's just this person left. There we go. At this point, this should pretty much be a done deal. All right. Now they're all taken care of, luckily. I'll just take their gold. Let's go back first. Oh, hello. Oh, you again? Yeah, I've certainly become better at actually like punching things now, which is good. All right, that wasn't too bad. Awesome. Let's head back in here. It's cool to see that I can actually kind of feel like a sense of progression here since it just started. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's two of them. Again, they're not doing all that much damage, though. Then again, there's two of them. Okay. Luckily, she's already going down. Just die. Oh, I didn't actually notice how low my health actually is. But you know what, that should be fine. Because this guy's, like, barely getting a punch in anyway. Come on. There we go, that's them both taken care of, finally. Now then, a level 20 chest, but unfortunately I don't have any lockpicks, so... Can't open that one. Oh, this one was trapped. What did that do to me? I'm not entirely sure, but I just like got my fortify attribute for some reason. Huh. Anyway. 25 gold. I'll be taking that. Alright, let's just rest here until I'm healed. Good. <laughs> What's this? 36 levels of lessons of Vivek. I can sell this. And my axe skill increased. Oh wow, okay. Never gonna use axes, but you know what? I'm sure I can sell it at least. Let's head out of here. Die. Oh crap. I just rested to get my fatigue up. Okay, I think he has an enchantment on his weapon, because that wasn't 
a thing before. And it keeps staggering me. Yeah, I need to heal myself up immediately. Let me just... Do... Filth casting the spell. Okay, that's not great. Okay, uh, already used it enough now. I'm just go over here. Alright. I think it's about... Uh-oh. Is that a cliff racer or whatever it was called? Yeah, these guys are notorious in Morrowind because of the amount they appear. These are just guys who harass you from the sky. And I don't think this game is far enough yet where the, the enemies will actually attack each other. I think he's like solely going for me. Which means that I should be running. Can I... You know what, I'll just go for the assassin first, there we go. My hand hands increased to 60, which is double what I started with, so that's a good sign for in the first part. I think the cliff racer can't, like, get to me for some reason, because it hasn't attacked me once yet. Even though it keeps making that sound. Yeah, that should be end the end of him. First up, I'm just gonna literally take... Let's see, what does this do? Damage health. Oh. Okay, I'll be taking all of this. Now it's your turn. I am- I am hitting it. I mean, it does make a sound. Doesn't seem to be doing so much damage either, so... You know what? How far is Balmora? Apparently it's really close. You know what? I'm just gonna run. Screw it. That thing can never kill me before I make it to Balmora anyway, so I might as well just go. Just go, just go, just go. More rats and other... Creatures, it's fine. Who the hell is? Oh, you're also attacking. Guys, fuck, just leave me alone. Thank you. <laughs> if I go north from here, I should be able to get to there soon. I wonder how far these guys are gonna follow me. I wonder if the guards are even going to help me once I get there. Probably not, now that I think of it. Screw it, I'm so close now. Alright, perfect. Welcome, it says. And we've made it to Balmora. Great. Let me just... Wait, I can't rest while enemies are nearby. Oh, the rats are still following me, that's good. Are there any guards here? By the gods, you are a nuisance. Oh, whatever. Okay, no one's to help me, I guess I'm gonna have to help myself here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot that my hand-to-hand -hand has gone up quite a bit since I first fought these guys. <laughs> there we go. Unarmored's also almost level 50 already, which is good. There we go. Alright, time to find a local tavern to level up. Um, armor... Is this thing open? Oh, it is actually. Okay, barter. How much do you have? Oh, you have quite a bit of gold, which is good. Just means I can sell all the Dark Brotherhood stuff to you. I sold all my armor, and that gives me 810, which is good enough. I'll take that. Is he actually wearing that armor right now? Oh, wow, he is. <laughs> Wait, who? For the main quest, who was I looking for again? Uh, Caius Cusades. Okay. Where the hell is that guy then? Here we are, at the very corner of the city. Caius Cusatis' house. <laughs> Bit of a weird way to greet someone, but okay. What? Yes, I'm Caius Cusatis, but what do you mean you were told to report to me? What are you talking about? So you say your name is Oscar, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Sure. Very interesting. So it says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders? Sure. Good, welcome to the service, novice Oscar. Now you belong to the Blades, where the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers. Now, or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away, but don't forget to visit the Blades, tra blades trainers. Let's talk about that. These Blades agents offer training, not free of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. 
Look for our Rift Lean, Time Ireland, Nine Toes here in Balmora, in Caldera, see Serrano Lirone, and a few others as well. Gotcha. Wait, wait a second, does he actually give training as well? Oh wow, he gives training in hand-to-hand -hand and unarmored. It's actually good to know. I'm not gonna take it now, because honestly there's no need, like it levels up really, qu really quickly on its own anyway. But it's good to know, like maybe if it, during the final few levels, like level 90, 95 upwards, it can take a really long time to get to 100. So if I'm just lazy or I have a lot of gold, I can just spend it to let him train me. Okay, what are my orders? Well, one look at you and anyone can see you're an experienced adventurer. That can be your cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurers are thick as fleas on a car. You want to keep active in that line just to avoid unwanted attention, but I have orders for you whenever you're ready. So he's basically telling me do side quests, gotcha. But anyway, orders. Ready for orders, good. Go talk to Hapsat Anatobolus at the Balmora Fighters Club. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. You have to do him a favor first, probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Anatobolus and report back to me. I do like the fact that he immediately like, sends me off to do some pretty like shady stuff. But sure thing. A good thing to do, but not immediately. For now, I just want to rest. Until I'm fully healed. There we go, level 5. So, strength goes up, speed goes up, and endurance might as well go up l yet again. <laughs> Why does this guy have a skooma pipe? <laughs> ah, whatever, I guess I shouldn't be the one to judge. My speed's actually up to 81 now. I think it caps at 100, but I'm not entirely sure. Seeing as we have leveled up five times, gotten our skills up quite a bit, and also made our way to Balmora, I think we should call it a part here. Next time, we're going to continue on with the orders for the blades. We're also going to look into more side quests, especially with the Fighters Guild as well as the Mages Guild, and see if we can level up even more. But that's all for next time. For now, I just want to say thank you all for watching. This has been Morrowind, no weapons, no armor, and I'll see you all next time.